Hello and welcome to Infinity. We have been looking at, up here, the automatic controls for just quick fixes to pictures. And then we looked at a number of these, the three here, auto contrast, auto cars and auto white balance, and ways of doing those with the adjustments over here. We skipped over the first one here, levels, but now we're going to look at it. Because to understand levels, you will understand histograms. Histogram is a, it sounds complex, even sounds sort of mathematical. Actually, it's dead easy. And this is it here. It's under the histogram tab there. And all this is, is imagine we took every pixel, every dot in the image, and we sorted them out into how bright or dark they were, which is because each pixel has red, green and blue, you separate those out as well. And each of those can have a value between 0 and 100% or 8-bit system 0 to 255. And we sorted out all the ones which were very small and we put them out there down the left-hand end. And we sort out all the ones which are very high and put them up to the right-hand end. And then all the middles, we just stack them up. And that's literally this shows is stacks of this, the red, the green and the blue. And so what you end up with, this end here on the left-hand end, when red, green and blue are all zero, that means it's black. And at the other end, when red, green and blue are all at the maximum, you get white. And in between, you get shades of grey and the mix of them to being different colours. Overall, then, this scale across here, it's generally a scale of lightness or light or bright it is here. And upwards here is how much there is at that level. So what that shows is there's quite a lot in the middle here of everything. You see little sort of spikies up here. So that means there's a fairly bright chunk of blue up here, and very much in the same sort of area, probably the sky. And then this big lump of blue here, well, there's all these blue things in the middle. We've got the green, there's a bright green here somewhere. Maybe that's the hedge. So you can sort of start guessing at these things. The red spikes popping up behind here, probably this bit here, this could have got red in it, and so on. What's important with this as well is because there's nothing in this zone here, because you get absolute black down here and dark down here as well. That means we're missing out stuff here. We're missing out it things. The blacks could be blacker. So I go to the colour tab here and grab this little thing here, this pipette, and bring it down to areas that look like black. And look what it says there. There's red is 27, green is 30, blue is 35. They're not all down to zero. If they were all zero, it'd be black. And so what we got there is something which is blackish. And again, at the other end, you could look at the top end there and find there's not much there. So what you end up with is the picture looks a bit dull, sort of slightly greyish. The whites aren't terribly white. And that's, can, you can make it better. And what auto levels does, I'll just click it here, quickly click it here to show you. There, all it does, see this makes the whites whiter and the blacks blacker and so on. And look what's happened to the histogram here. It's effectively been stretched outwards. I'll control Z to undo that. And we'll do this manually with the levels control here. So I click on this here. And then what I've got this here, I've got this is the same as the one up here, except that the white shows where they all overlap. And the controls here, um, don't worry about the ones at the bottom here. The only two that are real interest, which I use mostly, um, is the black level here and the white level. And all those do, the black level controls this line here and the white level controls this line here. So if I drag this up here, it means black, instead of starting down the end, starts here. And look what's happened here. See, it's pushed this up to here. So I put this back again. That one changes back to where it was. And all auto levels does, it drags this one up here like this and drags this one down like that, just to touch the edges of it. And so stretches the histogram out 
So we got from blacks through to whites. And it just makes it that whole range look better. Let's have a look at another picture. And here we've got something that's very dark. And look at the histogram. Everything's here is down at the left hand side, apart from a couple of bumps. So if I put a levels on this, then here you can see it's down the bottom. And all I need to do is bring down the white here. There's, it goes to that bump there. See, there's a bit in the middle there. And there's a little bit there. But if I bring it further, I know it's going to get whiter, but also makes the whole thing lighter. So you can see the detail under here. Whereas originally it was all dark. Now it's kind of useful. If you go too far, it just looks too bad down there. But you can get so far and it doesn't matter too much. And you've lightened up the picture. So there, using just one of those, you've done something to make the picture better. Anyway, that's enough for now, and thank you very much for watching.